Okay, so today I'm like looking through headlines and I come across this article out of Bryan College Station. A TDCJ officer loses his gun at a hospital. So I'm thinking in my mind, uh, well, uh, hold on, wait a second. Three decades of corrections and law enforcement I'm scratching my head. I mean, I'm just like, what in the world? How do you lose a gun when you're on hospital duty? Seriously, I mean, aren't guns like pretty heavy? I mean, once you hear like, uh, I don't know, here's a pin dropping on the floor. Oh, I heard that. A gun? I mean, aren't, aren't, aren't they like housed in uh, security holsters or supposed to be uh, uh, TDCJ? Uh, I think you were supposed to switch everything over to security holsters. Remember uh, a couple of escapes ago? Uh, yeah. So I'm scratching my head thinking, how do you lose a gun? And I go click on the link and... I want to hear the explanation. You know, I want to hear the agency trying to explain this one. Friday, TDCJ sent us to the hospital for comment. When we pressed the TDCJ for an on-camera interview Monday about why hospital staff would provide information about a missing agency gun, what policies were followed in the search and communications later, plus what disciplinary action is taken in a situation like this, they did not respond. We and well... To my disappointment, and I cannot blame the TDC public spokesperson because I wouldn't want to answer this with the media either. I mean, heck no. Uh, you can't explain it. Somebody please explain in the comment section how you lose a gun at a hospital. Please. I want to hear this. I want to hear a reasonable explanation. Please. Somebody out there explain this one away because the professionals... At TDCJ, I don't think they, they, they can get an answer on this one. Um, I seriously doubt it, but, I mean, I don't blame y'all guys. I mean, kudos. I mean, you probably should give, like, the public spokesperson now, like, extra stress pay for, you know, every time the phone rings. I mean, that, that's got to be, you know, what are they going to lose next? Uh, hey, we lost a prison. Uh, yeah, it was somewhere out there in... Uh, out there in that cornfield and it just disappeared. I mean, come on. Come on, guys, seriously. There, there, there's no way to explain this. I mean, there is a way to explain it. It's called incompetency. You know, for years I've been saying that vetting, retention training, and corrections, pay. Maybe, maybe you wanna pay some of these guys to stay that have a little bit of snap, but that's not happening, you know. We, we, we have this model in corrections where, oh, we can just turn over and constantly turn over and we'll bring some more people in. Well, some of the people we're bringing in, uh, yeah. 